America finally releases new terrible fighter jet. The sophisticated new warplanes might actually become even more out of reach in the event of a major conflict. In such circumstances, there may not be enough money to fund the war and sustain the development of advanced air systems. In recent years, several countries appear to have committed to developing a new sixth-generation manned fighter jet to replace current fifth-generation stealth fighters, such as China's F-35 Lightning and J-20. Russia and Japan are interested in interceptors, such as the Japanese Mitsubishi F-3 and the Russian MiG-41. In Europe, the interest is in multi-role fighters, particularly the French and German next-generation combatants, part of the broader Future Combat Air System FCAS, and the UK's Tempest project. It will theoretically start operating in the late 2030s or 2040s. For many years, the US Air Force's main concept for its Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, platform has been the Penetrating Counter Air, a long-range escort fighter designed primarily to accompany and protect incoming B-21 stealth bombers into enemy airspace. Meanwhile, the Navy requested a concept for the FAXX which is likely to be optimized as a fleet defense interceptor, given the more attack-oriented characteristics of the F-35C stealth fighter. Early 2019, Chinese media claimed domestic airlines were also investigating the development of a sixth-generation fighter. But what is meant by the sixth-generation jet remains completely theoretical. This previous article detailed the expected characteristics, which briefly includes, renewed emphasis on speed and range while maintaining radar stealth, directed energy weapons, AI assistance, the ability to optionally deploy unmanned, network sensors, evolving electronic warfare capabilities, and remote control drones. Yet in my discussions with analysts and industry experts, many were skeptical that one of these projects would be successful, at least as a manned aircraft. On the one hand, they cite the enormous budget and political will needed to build it, and on the other, they gave rise to the rapidly growing availability of cheaper, unmanned alternatives. The current F-35 fighter takes more than two decades to develop and tens of billions of dollars in a process fraught with technical delays, cost overruns and the accompanying political controversy. And the F-35 is meant to be relatively affordable. Even the Pentagon may not want to revisit the experience. Recently, drone manufacturer Kratos started promoting the Valkyrie, Loyal Wingman, drones for just $2 or $3 million each, meaning they are, interesting. In other words, losing a little action is an acceptable loss. Sure, the fighter-like Unmanned Aerial Systems UAS, may be less capable and more individually vulnerable than the $85 million F-35A, but you could theoretically buy 20 to 30 for the price of a stealth jet that's hard to kill. A September 2019 article by Tyler Rogoway on the drive suggests that the Air Force may have changed its past reticence to abandon manned fighters for unmanned systems. This article is worth reading in full, but here are two main points. The current F-35 fighter jet takes more than two decades to develop and tens of billions of dollars in a process fraught with technical delays, cost overruns, and the accompanying political controversy.